Welcome back to the Dallas Cowboys Win Now franchise here in Madden 22, Week 15. This is probably the biggest game of the whole season so far. Taking on the 8-5 and five Giants right now at 10-3. and three. Now, we beat them earlier in the season, 21-19, but with a victory here, if we go to 11-3 and three and they fall to 8-6, and six, that's the division. We'll have the tiebreaker over them. Uh, we're good to go. That would be the division. We would clinch that up, and then all we would have to worry about going forward is obviously seeding. Right now, still have the number one seed in the NFC. So this is a huge game, definitely on the road. Giants, you know, this is it. They have to win this to get back in the division. Now, C.D. Lamb last week ended up getting superstar development. And then now, for the second week in a row, he has a chance for another development upgrade to a X Factor. So back-to-back -back weeks, we got to get even four touchdowns or 200 yards receiving. So not sure about the four touchdowns, but definitely, I think we can get the 200 yards receiving. I mean, we're just going to have to force feed on the ball. Like I've said before, I'm not always the biggest fan of that because you just, you know, instead of looking at the whole field or trying to, you know, have a different type of approach to the offense, you're kind of stuck on one guy. So we'll see. We'll do our best. We're going to need, obviously, a couple big plays with him to get the 200 yards. As for the game plan, pretty easy. Stop Saquon Barkley. Stop their pass rush. As for practice, we split up everything. We're trying to keep everybody healthy. You know, keep the fatigue down pretty easily there. So let's head into this week 15 game. Biggest game of the season. And can we win the division here in East Rutherford, New Jersey? Taking on this New York football Giants team. Like I said, we saw them way back. What was that, week four or five? And it was, I believe, a 21-19 ball game. Very close. You know, that's when we were still kind of a struggling team trying to get our feet underneath of us. And now we're ready to go. We have been the hottest team in football. And now trying to continue our win streak. We'll receive this ball first here to start off this ball game. And let's get into it. This offense has really just been clicking on all cylinders. There's no doubt about it. Run game, pass game. And last week I was concerned because no Amari Cooper... Offensive line, no, no uh, Leo Collins. I thought it was going to be, you know, interesting to see how it worked out. And, man, our offense is just still, it just lights out. Third and three, we're going to go to Dalton Schultz for the catch. And Schultz is going to be up to the 44-yard line. I mean, he's been quiet. The tight end spot's really been quiet. We've been utilizing our receivers. But, man, this offense, can't say it enough. First and ten. And Zeke Elliott, who is getting closer and closer to a 2,000-yard season, less than 300 yards away. What a season he has had, and he, uh, another good run there. Second and two now. Dak looking, firing, and wide open is CeeDee Lamb for the catch. He's down to the 14-yard line, so to get him to that 200-yard marker, we need a bunch of that. There's no doubt about that. Second and four, handoff to Zeke. Zeke is going to be enough for the first down, down to the two-yard line, and Another good drive here to start off this ball game. Second and goal. We hand off to Zeke, and he's going to be stuffed. Can't get through there, so third and goal. We're going to spread everybody out Throw it quickly. We got C.D. Lamb for the touchdown, and his uh, outstanding season just continues. 15 TDs on the season for C.D. Lamb. Question is, can we get him to 20 on the season? That'll be interesting. Obviously, with Amari Cooper out for the next few weeks, there's a good possibility that could definitely happen. But a good start, 7-0 lead, and here comes this Giants offense with Daniel Jones, Saquon Barkley, and company, and he is going nowhere. Micah Parsons holds him up. Jalen Smith comes up to help clean it up. Nothing there, and now brings up a second down and 10 as Daniel Jones looking down the field. Can't find anybody as Randy Gregory gets through for the sack. Great coverage down the field and getting a little bit of pressure just with a four-man rush. You can't. I mean, it's going to be tough. If you can get a four-man rush pressure, have great coverage, it's going to be tough for any quarterback. As on the third and 21, he'll just dump it down to Galladay, and that's going to be well short of the first down. And this defense, which has been playing so well the, pro, the last, I would say, six to seven weeks, and it just continues here as that is going to be completion to C.D. Lamb. Catch first down up to the 48-yard line and a perfect start. What is Daniel Jones doing? Perfect start here for Dak. He is on the money, standing in the pocket, getting out of it. And there's a wide open man down the field. Cedric Wilson, touchdown! What is going on with the Giants' defense? What happened there? There was nobody within maybe 20 yards of them. Didn't see him at first. 
you know, just trying to get out of that pocket. You're in there and then getting some pressure up the middle. Yeah, look at that. The safety, for some reason, decides to go down the middle of the field, and he is just wide open. I don't know who the safety's covering there. There's no other receiver in the area. Just completely blown coverage. Missed assignment. We'll take it. 14 nothing lead. And this game's looking good early on. And it looks even better as Smith comes through. Didn't bite on that play action. Brings down Daniel Jones for another sack. And now a second and 18. Man, this Giants team is uh, struggling here so far early on. He'll throw it up top. Looking for Evan Ingram. He had him. But he overthrows him. And now it's a third and 18. Another third and long situation for this offense. As Jones looking. Pressure coming. Randy Gregory with another sack. Man, our defensive line, and the, it's already a third sack here in just the second drive. And now we have a chance to really uh, extend this lead here early on. It's just here in the first quarter as it finally ends. What a quarter for Dak. 132 touchdowns, 14 nothing lead, and look, trying to make this a 21 nothing lead. As Dak looking, looking, nobody this time, and this time they get to him. Leonard Williams for the sack back to the 42-yard line. Sorry, you know, rather that than a pick or a fumble. Luckily, he held on to it. But second and 20 now, back to the 42-yard line. Dak firing. And, oh, man, we got almost a natural pick there. That's that's very iffy to be in a penalty. That just knocks the defender away from CeeDee Lamb. It is caught first down, and we're up to the 15-yard line. First and 10 now. Dak looking, dropping back, trying to find a receiver. He finally finds one as Wilson. And he's down to the one-yard line. Almost had his second touchdown of the game. And now first and goal from the one. Hand off to Zeke. This time he is in no problem. And we got a 21-0 lead. This is, uh, this is interesting. Did not expect this game to go this way. I thought this would be a really tight, contested lead ball game. But right now it is not looking so. We are absolutely dominating them. 21-0. This Giants team needs something. And... At least they got something to Shepard because they have had nothing going for them either offensively or defensively. Now first and ten goes to the outside. Daniel Jones finds Galladay for the catch. Another first down to the 39-yard line. So the Giants finally, finally here in the second quarter getting something going. As a third down and two. Now the run game works out. They get to Saquon Barkley with the carry. But it's only his second carry of the game. You would think, you know, you're having problems getting the pass, you know, with the pass rush at the moment. You would, yeah, run the ball like this. No doubt about it. You got Saquon Barkley. Why wouldn't you? Second and two from the 17 as Jones now looking. Looking for that quick pass, but nothing's there. And Randy Gregory is there. Third sack already in this ball game. Knocks him back to the 30. And now a third and 15 as Jones looking in the pocket. And this time it's going to be Lawrence that gets to him. Man, what is going on with our front four today? Our pass rush is insane. Knocks him back to the 35. So this is about a 52-yard field goal. And the kick is going to be up, and it's going to be enough, and it is good. So the Giants get on the board 21-3. to But, man, they really have some problems. Our defense is just absolutely performing fantastic today, no doubt about it. First and 10, C.D. Lamb for the catch. Just short of the first down. We got a third down and one. You know where we're going. We're going to Zeke in the run game. Easily through there. First down up to the 46-yard line. We'll reach the two-minute warning and a chance to add some more points here before the half. So at the 46, Dak looking. He fires to a wide open CD Lamb, and it's a touchdown. Man, what is going on offensively? What is going defensively for the Giants? We're making this look easy. That's a crazy throw by Dak off his back foot, just slings it. But when you got a receiver that's got the DB beat by at least uh, four yards, I mean, you don't have to make that much of an accurate throw. Man, touchdown, 28-3. to And this is where I kind of paused the game at first because, like, is this still going on Madden? It just seemed too easy. Um, not trying to gloat there or anything, but it just seemed easy. But it was. It was on all Madden. So I was just like, okay, we'll see. We'll see what happens here. First and 10 now for the Giants. And they need something, but it's not going to work out in their favor. And that should have been a fumble. I don't know how that's an incomplete pass. Somehow that's not an incomplete pass. But luckily for the Giants, it is. Second and ten. Jones in the pocket. And, man, there's guys all over him going up top. And this one's going to be picked off by Brown. There was about three guys in Daniel Jones' face. He's finally brought down. But, man, now we have a chance 
getting the turnover to just blow this game out of the water here in this uh, first half. It already kind of is right now, 28-3. to But I don't know what's going on. Dak looking, firing, and it's going to be picked off. Now you can tell we're on all Madden. This one's picked off, and I don't think anybody's going to be in front for the Giants' defense. Comes up with a big play, pick six, and keeps them in this ball game because that is... They don't get something like that. We go in at 35 to 3. Game's over. So 28 to 10. And we still got 120 left here in this first half. Dak's going to roll out of first and 10. Tries to fire, but this one's going to be picked off. So just as I'm like, oh, we're blowing this team out, it's 28 to 3. Is this on all men? It is. And now, just two plays later, it is. And it's a 28 10, two picks in a row. Giants now have a chance to get right back in this ball game. But on first and 10, yep, Randy Gregory. Fourth sack of the first half. Absolutely insane. Knocks him back to the 45-yard line. So brings up a third and 21. This is about the, they've been in this position all half, it seems like. And now Fuller's going to get a pick. So it's just been a pick fest here in the final two minutes of this first half. And we'll break it back to the 42-yard line. And technically now we have another chance here to get some points before halftime. Man, this has been a crazy final two minutes. So up to the 42-yard line, Dak fires over the middle, finds CeeDee Lamb for the catch. He'll be up to the 47-yard line. We'll call our first timeout here. Still have two left. Just trying to get field goal range here. First and 10, Dak fires to the outside, finds Zeke Elliott for the catch, and he's up to the 36, first down, and out of bounds as well. So the clock stops that was a good play there now first and watch out pressure coming man did anybody block him there did what happened there so we'll have to call our second time out that was an insta sack no doubt about it now third down and nine Dak somehow gets out of it he's gonna run it himself and did he get the first down and he did not so it's close but we're gonna go for it I know we probably should kick a field goal here we're just going to go for it as Dak now rolling out. He's going to fire. He's going to find Gallup, who has the catch, and he's down to the 12. We're going to use our final timeout with six seconds. So here's the decision. You take one more shot here. I think we're going to take one more shot. It's just got to be quick. It's got to be quick and obviously can't take a sack. Is Dak going to roll out? He's going to fire to CD Lamb, and he can't have to bring it down, and time runs out. Man. From pretty much playing a flawless game the first, you know, quarter and a half, that final three minutes, we just botched it. Should have got points there at the end. Two horrible interceptions. Man, that was a terrible way to end the halftime. I mean, this game should be over as you see Washington takes over Philadelphia. But yeah, as we kick off here in the second half, this game should be done. It should have been maybe 38-3 to right now. But it's now 20-10, Giants with the ball. So say they go down to score a touchdown here, they're only down 11. If we, we've we outplayed them cr like crazy. So let's not like let's not let this game slip away. Let's not uh, have a 28-3. Uh, you know, I've heard that score before in a blown game. Let's not that happen to us. As Vander Esch gets through for another sack, seventh sack of the game. And we've just started the second half. It is crazy. This is the... This is the most sacks I've seen for this defense in a while. We're just dominating the Giants' offensive line. And on third and 19, they do their best to get the first down, but does not happen. So the Giants have to punt. And here comes Dak in this offense. Let's, uh, let's limit the turnovers. There's no doubt about that. Got to stop with the turnovers and keep this game, team in the ball game. First and 10, hand off to Zeke. He's got a first down. Uh, easy run there up to the 34-yard line. And also... See, I'm not sure how close C.D. Lamb really is. Second and 11 will go underneath the Dalton Schultz. I think he's up there. I think he's around 100 yards receiving. So, obviously just need another 100 yards. Obviously that touchdown really helped. Third and three, and we dump it down to Zeke, but he is going to be short of the first down. Giants defense does the job. And we punt the ball away. At least it was a good punt. We knock him back to the six-yard line. Second and nine, Daniel Jones just has to fire it up. Looking for his receiver. And it's knocked away incomplete. Man, the pressure was right there in his face once again. So third down and nine. Jones looking. We bring some blitz, and it's not going to work out at all. That's going to be a safety in the fifth sack of the ball game. 
for Randy Gregory. Unbelievable game here. Eight sack for the team. And now we get the safety, so we get two points back. And we'll try to get the run game or something going here. Is Pollard with the carry, and he's got a first down up to the 37-yard line. Second down and nine. This time we're going to spread him out. Nickel Blitz is picked up perfectly. Going up top, looking for Dalton Schultz, and he can't come away with it. Almost picked off, actually. Luckily for us, it was not. But third down and nine. Dax looking, fires over the middle. Nice job by CeeDee Lamb. Sitting down in the zone. I don't think I've ever really seen that before. That was nice. Sitting down, not continuing his route, seeing where the ball is. And now second and five, and we throw. Oh. Another pick. Love jump, jumps right in the pattern. Did not really see him. Didn't think he would get over there that quickly, and he did. Third interception now this ball game. We're just keeping this Giants team in the game. 30 to 10, still the score. They're trying to get this back to a two-possession ball game. Third down and five. And now Jones from the 50-yard line looking. Pressure coming around the edge, and he gets away from it. Now he slings it up, and this one's going to be knocked away, but it's going to be caught for the touchdown. That was an absolutely insane play. Slayton somehow comes down with it. First of all, Daniel Jones somehow got out of the pressure. I thought that was going to be sack. I think that was Joseph that came around, and then he just slings it up. Almost 60 yards. Ball pops in the air. Slayton is there. We could get that. We were just right there with Jalen Smith. Touchdown. And this is a 13-point ball game. Somehow. 30-17 to 17 in our offense. we got to respond. we got to get a, at least some points on the board here. At least a field goal. And that's a good start. Up to the 43-yard line. So first and 10. And this one off to Zeke. He's got some room to run. And is anybody going to be able to Kevin? Can we get a block? Maybe a broken tackle? But no, he's going to be brought down at the 24-yard line. But still, big run for Zeke. He's close to another 100-yard ball game down to the 24-yard line. And that's what we want to see for sure. First and 10. Now hand off to Zeke. And Zeke, the ball is loose. The Giants recover. <laughs> Just what is going on in this game? Another turnover. He was in the zone as well, and he just got sh just completely the ball stripped out of his hands. Take a look at this again. Yeah, look at that play. That is that is a nice play. Giants cause another turnover. They have now caused four, and they have a chance to get this now to a one-possession ball game, and there's a run up to the 29-yard line, and you can see there's no Saquon Barkley, so I think... I mean, we had the update, so I'm not sure what the fatigue problem is. He's not hurt or anything. Third down and one. That's an incomplete pass. Nice defense there by Brown on the outside. At least make it difficult. But Barkley, I guess he's had too much fatigue. He's out of the ball game, And just like the Saints and before, it's just the offense is – I guess they weren't really utilizing him anyway. But still, it kind of changes things up. But at least our defense gets to stop. And now – as long as we don't turn the ball over, can our offense go down the field and do something about it? Second and four, we'll hand off to Pollard again, giving Zeke a, a, a little bit of a rest here. As Pollard with a nice, nice carry, he's having a solid game. Five carries, 35 yards, another first down as we're into the fourth quarter now. With a 13-point lead, looking for this division title and trying to get CeeDee Lamb to an X-Factor. He has the catch, and he's up to the 38-yard line and a first down. He's got to be close, real close. Second and ten. Dak's going to take off himself. There's nobody in front of him. He's got plenty of room to run and gets out of bounds. Gain of 15 up to the 22-yard line. 7.40 left. If we can put a touchdown, and pretty much end the ball game, I would say. First and 10. Dak's going to roll out. He's going to find CeeDee Lane, who stays in bounds. Gets tackled at the 10. Gain of 12. So we'll have to see... After this drive, where C.D. Lamb is at. As Zeke up the middle, he puts this one in for the score. His second of the ball game. And now takes this back up to a 36-17 ball game. And I think we'll go for two here to try to put it at a 21-point ball game. Three touchdown score with under seven minutes left. As, yeah, that was an easy run. Nice blocking. We see that all season. So two-point conversion here. See if we can get this one to put it up to a 21-point ball game. Dak fires. That's going to be caught. Nice job by Gallup bringing it down. So 38-17. 7.05 left in the ball game. And <laughs> let's hope the defense holds up. No collapse. And the way that the – I mean, there's another sack. Terrell Basham gets in there. Man.
What is that, sack number nine in this ball game? Nine sacks for this defense. Absolutely dominating performance. Third and 18, throwing up top, and that's going to be knocked away. Nice job by the defense there, and the Giants are just going to punt the ball away. And, yeah, CeeDee Lamb has 197 yards. Okay, we just need three yards. Bruins got the victory under our belt here. Just need three more yards with CeeDee Lamb, and he'll have an X factor. And we are going to get it. Easy completion to CeeDee Lamb. He's got it, no problem. He's over 200 yards. We can just kneel this away, and we're done here. Kneel it one more time with Dak. That is going to be the ball game. 38-17, your final division title. CeeDee Lamb now an X-Factor. And even though we kind of played a sloppy, sloppy game, really after the uh, going into midway second quarter, really sloppy with the turnovers. But it doesn't matter. When you can turn the ball over four times and you can still dominate a ball game 38-17, uh, that's as bad, as bad as good as you can get. I mean, sacked the other team nine times. Dak still ended up with 390 yards, three touchdowns, three picks. Still good completion percentage. 77% with three of them being picked. Zeke with over 100 yards, 118. Yeah, Pollard, 41 yards on the ground, 5.8 to carry. And then CeeDee Lamb, 14 catches, 208 yards, two touchdowns. So two weeks in a row, he gets a uh, upgrade. He's now an X-Factor. Cedric Wilson with that big touchdown earlier in the defense. Yeah, Randy Gregory, five sacks. Basham, Lawrence, Smith, and Vander Esch had a sack of their own. We do end up getting two picks from Fuller and Anthony Brown. So the defense, which was just, you know, coming in, it's atrocious. The first, what, six weeks it wasn't good. It was bad. And all of a sudden, it's just been a like that. It's been a switch. Uh, C.D. Lamb is the X-Factor. Let's check out the abilities here. Obviously, he's going to have some upgrades, getting a lot of points now. So he's up to a 90 overall, plus two with morale. So one plus awareness, one plus two deep route, and release with that one. And he gets one more skill upgrade. And I think this time, if we do route runner, we'll do route runner here. Let's see what he gets here. Plus one acceleration. It's awesome agility, catching, medium route, and short route, all plus one. So, yeah, he's up to a 90. He's an X-Factor. He's having an unbelievable season. Let, I didn't even take a look at his superstar abilities last week. So let's take a look at that. So right now he has Rack'em Up, his Route Apprentice, and he has Reach for it. Uh, I don't know. Let's. I think we should change him up. So let's do the superstar abilities. Maybe Route Technician, high success when uh, creating separation. I mean, obviously he's got speed, agility. You know that about it. Um, let's see what the other one grab and go quick shift momentum i think that works i think with his speed and agility now obviously for his x factor i think we're gonna go um maybe ankle breaker i think that works out so he can increase moves after the catch that works out perfectly defensive player of the week goes to randy gregory that makes perfect sense five sacks no doubt about it and now we can take a look at this division we're division winners we've won seven in a row after that just disaster of a game in minnesota 11 and 3 top in the nfc right now let's take a look at everybody else steelers at 11 and 3 looks like they have clinched their at least playoff spot with the browns and ravens at 9 and 5 Bengals at 7 and 7 so the Bengals are still there i think in a wild card spot it's crazy texans 10 and 4 it's got to be the surprise of the season jaguars at 8 and 6 that could be a surprise titans only 7 and 7 and the colts 4 and 10 New England, 11-3. Maybe the other surprise is the Bills. They're 3-11. And, and I think um, Josh Allen has been healthy the whole year. Chiefs, 12-2. That's no surprise there. Vikings are at 8-6. And, and the Packers are at 5-9. Interesting. Some teams just having some really disappointing seasons. The Bucks are at 9-5 right now. Panthers and Falcons right there at 7-7. Seven seven. So they're very close probably to a wild card spot. Here with a few games to go. Niners at 9-5. Seahawks at 8-6. And, and look at the Rams. 3-11. And, and they've only put up 211 points. That is crazy. So the Rams and Bills, probably the surprise teams uh, that are just doing absolutely garbage this year. Looking at the playoffs, yeah, we're number one seed right now. So uh, right now I'd say what's Tampa Bay, because they have a tiebreaker over us. So we have to beat them record-wise or they get home, they get the spot over us because they beat us first game of the season. And San Francisco is there. Minnesota, I'm not sure obviously we're going to have to worry about, but they've beaten us as well. 
AFC, Kansas City, number one seed, pretty easily there. So look at the final three games. We got Washington again, who we just beat 41 to six on the road. So this is at now in Dallas. So hopefully she take care of business. Now Arizona, this game will be interesting because they're battling at least for a division spot. They're right there, only two games behind San Francisco at seven and seven, and they need as many victories as possibly can to maybe get a wild card spot. Philadelphia's out of it, and they're probably going to do their best to play spoiler, especially to a team that they hate a lot in Dallas. So no doubt about it. But we take on Washington next time. We just gave them a beat down. And uh, I don't know. We'll see. You never know. Division games. Like I said, you never know. It could be another beat down. It could be a one heck of a ball game down to the end. We'll see what happens. But thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate all the support you guys have. If you can just keep hitting that like button, subscribe if you're new. I will see you in the next one. You guys have a good one. Bye-bye.